as a tech guy, I come across all sorts of problems on their computers. And today, I'm going to describe the source for almost all of them. Viruses are a huge problem for a lot of people. And it's the single most common reason for calling for tech support. And what I have found over time, and I'm hoping to educate you with right now, is that almost all of the viruses that I see are not the result of just simply browsing the web. Although it does happen from time to time, it's rare. What you should be aware of is that almost all the major problems you're going to have on the computer as far as viruses start one way, fake emails. More often than not, if I am trying to investigate the source of a problem that somebody's having with the computer, it's almost always because of a fake email. And that's why I'm here educating people today. A fake email is an email. So it's not fake, but it's from a fake sender. It's from somebody you think you know. Now, what do I mean by you think you know? Well, you get an email and you, it's from your best friend or maybe somebody you haven't seen in six months, which is even more likely. Somebody you don't see every, every day isn't somebody you're going to pick up the phone and say, you know, I just got this email and it says it's from you and it tells me I should watch out for this and I should click this link. Was that you? Now, if it's somebody you call all the time, yeah, that you're probably going to call them as soon as you get the email. But if it's somebody you haven't talked to in six months or you see from time to time, you get that email, you probably just assume, oh, that's so-and-so and he's telling me about something important. I'm not going to call and ask him. And you're going to trust the links because you think it came from them. So what I'm trying to remind people here is if you get an email from somebody you know, odds are if it has a link in it, don't click it. The only exception is if it's somebody you talk to on a daily basis, then what you should do is pick up the phone and ask them before you do anything. Because chances are, most of the time, if there's somebody sending you a link in an email, it is not authentic. You should just assume right off the bat that it's not. And if it's somebody you don't talk to on an everyday basis, completely delete it. Don't even think twice about it, no matter what it is. Just don't follow any links, don't download anything, and just plain delete the email and you'll be fine. But if you get one from somebody you do know and you do talk to on a regular basis, just pick up the phone and ask him, hey, you know, hey, Bob, did you send that? And if he says yes, maybe you'll trust it. But otherwise, bye-bye email. And that's today's idea of the day. All right, so that's today's idea of the day. I uh, hope you liked it. If you visit ideatoday.com, you'll see a new one every day. Every day. Yeah, some of them don't suck. And, and don't forget to subscribe. And you can see them here every day. Brand new one. And, and some of my videos don't suck either. <laughs>